In this video, I will show you how to add a door to your drawing or project in AutoCAD. I'm using here a project I did before and I will leave you a link in the description if you'd like to watch the process of making it. Also leave you some download links for free AutoCAD blocks and resources such as these text styles over here and these dimension styles on the bottom. I'll talk about adding a symbol swing door and then talk about adding a sliding door. My name is Jay and I make AutoCAD tutorials for interior designers and architects. If you're new to my channel, hit the subscribe button to get my weekly tutorials on AutoCAD. To add a simple swing door in AutoCAD, the easy way to do that is to actually use one of the door blocks that actually come with all the AutoCAD softwares. And on the Windows version, you can access that by going to the View tab here on the top or the View ribbon. And then once you are there, you want to choose this one right here under Palettes or in the Palettes section, you want to choose Tool Palettes. I'm going to click on that and it will open this window. On your end, most likely it will open first on this tab right here and it's called Annotation. And you want to switch it to the next tab that says Architectural. I'm going to switch to that. And then from here, you will see that there's Imperial blocks over here. And then on the bottom, there is Metric. So of course, depending on your project, you can choose either or. Uh, for my project here, I'm using inches and feet. So I'm going to go ahead and choose this door right here. I'm just going to simply click on it. And then I'm going to place it in my drawing. You will see if you try to place it immediately on an opening, it kind of will flip the direction. It doesn't work exactly from the like first try. So what I like to do is just to place it somewhere here, like somewhere where it doesn't touch a wall or a line or a polyline. And then from there, I'll just select it again. And then I'll use the move command and then move it from here to the opening. Now, once the door is in place, I'm going to click on it. And then from here, you'll see that this door is actually a block and it's a special kind of block. It's a dynamic block where it has several controls attached to it and where you can do stuff like adjusting the width of the door. So to adjust that, to make it match this opening that I already draw before, I'm just going to click on this arrow here on the right side. And then when you click on that, you will see there's a small line, small gray lines that show us like different width opening or opening width pretty much. So it has by default the standard North American door sizes. In the metric, I'm assuming it's also using metric standards. So from here, I'm going to slide to 2, 8 to match the door. And then I'm, gonna, I'm able to flip the direction of the door to open to the inside. And I can do that by clicking on this arrow. And then what I can do is actually flip the direction to open uh, from left to right or right to left. So I'm going to click on this arrow right here, and that will flip it. Uh, direction vertically pretty much and then we have one more control that allows us to control the opening of the door so right now you see it's not fully open to make it fully open we can click on this arrow right here you can see here it has a list so we can see open 30 degrees 45 60 90 and we can choose close now open 30 degrees is the default we can in this case I want to switch it to open 90 degrees to showcase that it's fully open and here we go and then I also want to show you like a uh, like a simple trick if you want to say let's do you want to you want to do double doors pretty much. So what you would do, I would just copy this door from this corner to this corner. OK, and then if I want to get a double door, I would just pretty much uh, mirror it. So in here, I'm just going to use the mirror command, going to type MI on the keyboard, click on this point and down. And here we go. That would create a door. We just need to click no, but it looks like this door is a little bigger than the opening. So what I will do, I will say no here and then get rid of this one. I'll click delete on my keyboard. And then this one, I'll just modify the door slightly to make it smaller. And then I'll do the mirror here again. And this should give us this result. And I'll just say no. All right. Now to add a sliding door, a sliding door similar to this one right here, uh, leaving the, the residence or this one here for the closet. I'm going to do it here pretty much. So to do that, what I usually do first is measure the entire um, the entire opening. And here we have seven feet. 
So what I want to do is a door that's half that, and that would be uh, three feet six inches. So I will do three feet six inches, and then I'll go down. I'll do a door thickness of one and a half, for example, and then I'll go back to here, and then I will click on this point to close the polyline, and then I'm gonna hit enter to finish the polyline, and then I'll select it. I'll select the door that I created, and I will copy it, pretty much from this point to the bottom, here. And I'll click enter and then I will just move it maybe to the middle from this point to this point right here to represent it slightly open pretty much there's no block for it in AutoCAD uh, by default but I think it's pretty simple to create uh, this pretty much for your project and if you want you can actually move it a little bit down just to make it a little bit more realistic something like this and here we go this this is how to create like a basic swing door and, uh, and how to create uh, a basic sliding door.